I spend a lot of time in Google ad accounts and I audit dozens of accounts. I work on dozens and dozens of accounts. And when I take over an account from an existing agency who isn't performing from a client, or when I take over a Google ads account from a client who's doing their ads themselves, I continue to see, you know, the, the same patterns, the same trends of some of the mistakes and some of the things that people um, are doing in their account. So this is going to be a more casual video. I'm not really going to be showing anything. It's going to be me chatting. So if you're looking to just overall increase your Google ads knowledge, and this is going to be a pretty um, short, easy, uh, digestible video. So what might be happening if you're stumbling across this video, you might be in a spot where you're like, hey, we have done you know everything in our Google ads account. We've got tons of keywords. Um, you know, like we're getting conversions, things are things are working, right? We have a, our location targeting, but you almost don't know what else to do because you feel like, you know, you have everything. You have ad groups, you have tons of keywords, you built out a negative keyword list. You're like, okay, like the account is stuck, right? So if you feel like your account is stuck, here's what I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. All that stuff, right? Setting up your ad group, putting in some keywords, writing some ad copy, right? Anyone can do that, which is great, right? So Google ads is something that most people can like watch a video, like watch a video like mine, watch any of the other YouTuber videos um, and, you know, be able to set up their account. But when it comes to actually having the expertise and, you know, knowing what levers to pull and what decisions to make to actually, you know, make your account profitable is going to be things beyond just like that initial setup, right? So basically what I could say in this video that it's going to be applicable to most people, it's going to be looking at where your spend is going, right? So that's the most important thing is, of course, you have your daily spend and your spend is going to be connected to your, your campaign level, no matter what, right? For Facebook ads, you can have a CBO or an ABO budget. So you can have your uh, your budget at the campaign level or the ad group budget uh, or at, at the ad group level. But for Google ads, it's always going to be your campaign. And so, OK, what are the things that are at the campaign level, right? You can have ad groups under your campaign. You can have locations under your campaign, right? But you have to understand that, like, let's just say that you're using like I always use Phoenix. because That's where I live. I live in Scottsdale. Like, let's say you're targeting somewhere like the Valley of Phoenix, right? So that's going to include a very large you know range of I, I guess um of land right like phoenix is very big north phoenix and south phoenix are very far apart it's very different right and let's say that you're you know including the whole valley that might cover scottsdale tempe mesa gilbert chandler you know all that right so if you include all that let's say that's your overall location targeting for your your campaign and then let's just go ahead and say that maybe you have what i see a lot is i just see that uh i see one ad group with like 50 plus keywords in there. And most of those keywords are broad, right? So let's just assume that is your current setup. And even if it's not, just listen to what I'm about to tell you is because when your budget is at a campaign level, it's gonna, your your spend is gonna gravitate towards what spends the most, right? Google charges you and Google gets paid and Google is what's called pay per click, right? So you only pay when someone clicks, that's how Google gets paid. So if you're using broad match keywords and you have, you know, like one, like let's just say, you have auto detailing as a broad match keyword, but then you have a ton of other ones, right? You might, you're, you're probably going to see that there's only really like three to five keywords in your ad group that are actually taking probably 95% of the spend. And then you're going to notice the same thing with your, uh, with your location. If you're targeting Phoenix, you're also targeting Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, almost, I'm sure that at least 70% of your spend is probably going to be going towards Phoenix because that's where all the volume is. Then same thing with those keywords. Okay, that's where the click volume is. So the location, um, the, the keywords, it doesn't matter if those are going to be your best and your highest converting, lowest cost per converting um, keywords or locations, but it's going to spend based on where that where that actual search volume is. And because Phoenix itself has a lot larger population than somewhere like Chandler, that's likely going to be where your spend is gravitating towards. And then same thing with the keywords on just like an overall keyword research basis. So. I have a strategy. I don't know what everyone else calls it, but like in, in my agency, I call it dividing and conquering. And the, the best thing that you can do if you're at a kind of, if you feel stuck and you have all these locations, you have all these keywords and you're like, what do I do? Right? Again, it's going to be, look at where the spend is going. Look at your locations, look at your ad groups, look at your keywords. I'm almost positive that 80% of your spend is probably going towards a small handful of things out of all the locations, out of all the keywords, out of all the ad groups that you actually have and are, you know, have in mapped inside your account. So divide and conquering means that you duplicate your campaign. Um, and what you do then is on the duplicated one, you only have enabled the stuff that you want to test or the stuff you want to bring its own spend to, right? So that might sound confusing. So for example, in your in your main campaign, let's say that you've got 
all those cities I mentioned, right? All around, all around Scottsdale, all around Phoenix, right? So you have all those, but none of them are getting any spend, but Phoenix, we're like, but Phoenix is still doing okay, right? Like let's say cost per conversion is 80 bucks for local home service. You're like, we'd like to get those to like 50, um, you know, and maybe you've seen like a couple conversions here and there on those other cities that do okay, but there's not enough volume there. So Phoenix is the one that has all your volume. You have all your mass conversions there. So you don't want to get rid of Phoenix, but you want to test the other locations. And let's say you don't want to go beyond your current budget. So let's say you're spending $100 a day. I would bring that campaign down to $70 a day. And then in your original campaign, pause all the locations besides Phoenix, because that's where your conversions are coming from. That's the volume. You don't want to lose the volume. And then in that duplicated campaign, you would pause Phoenix and leave the other ones enabled and you know put $30 a day toward it. So move 30% of your total existing budget to your testing. And that is a good way to what I like to call dividing and conquering, okay? That is an SOP that I use inside my agency that you know can fix, I don't wanna say just like fix a lot of problems because it's a very blanket statement, but it depends on the account, right? And usually, you know, I maybe not, I don't know, I don't even know if I should say usually, but um, a decent amount of the time, a good amount of the time when people come to me, they're business owners, it's either because an agency has not been able to get it to work or they're running the ads themselves and they don't know what else to do. Like they've, they've quote unquote tried everything, okay? And just setting up the account, setting up ads, doing keyword research, putting them all in there, that is not really considered doing everything because the real skill is the actual in-depth optimizations. You need to look at your audiences, you need to look at your placements, you need to look at the quality score of your keywords, okay? If the keyword that's taking almost all your spend because it's a broad match and it's the most vague one, and you know that that's where 60% of your ad spend is going out of all your keywords is this, is this one keyword and the quality score is less than a five out of 10, you could you know increase your profitability, lower your cost per conversion by literally just putting that keyword on your landing page more and you know, or maybe making a landing page specifically about that service or that keyword. Um, if it's applicable and that that right there is going to make a difference, right? So there's all these things. Again, you need to be looking at, you know, when and where your ads are showing. Okay, are there times of days that your ads do better? I'm sure you could see that there are times of week that you might just seem to be random, but over a 30 day, 90 day period, if Thursdays and Sundays are always, you know, your lowest converting days, you need to be putting more spend to those days by doing a bid adjustment or doing an ad schedule divide and conquer by having a separate campaign that has specific budgets only for Thursday and Sunday, you know, to be able to capitalize on those days. So it's going to be a lot of like, you know, just testing. And when you put everything into an account at once, it's not going to test everything. So what I'm trying to say is look into the to the details, look at look at the genders, look at the ad schedule, look at the exact locations. And I mean, hey, if you put all of Phoenix and then you're like, oh, Phoenix doesn't work for us. Dude, there are like a hundred, not a hundred, but there are like, a, I know, a hundred zip codes inside Phoenix. There are wealthier parts of Phoenix. There are poorer parts of Phoenix. There are more ghetto parts of Phoenix. Etc. Then that's what's going to be for you know any large uh, like look overall like location targeting. So you need to like look into the actual metrics themselves. Look at everything. So my advice for you is to if you have everything built in your account, you're like, hey, stuff's not moving. We're stuck. Then you need to break it down into the finer details and look at those specific metrics because there are going to be things that are working better and there are going to be things that are working you know not as good. But the the spend doesn't matter because it follows volume. So you have to be the one to divide and break those up. So. Again, if you feel like you're stuck in your account, this is some of the best advice that I can give you for you know separating your budget and being able to test more and really find out, okay, where should we be putting our money exactly? Even if you've got five or six campaigns, they're all gonna be for dividing and conquering specific locations, out of groups, keywords. That's gonna be the structure that's gonna help you make sure that you're putting and you want control of your budget. When you do that, you take control of your budget because you're like, hey, we only want it being spent on this. But when you have everything lumped in one, the only, you know, the it's just gonna to gravitate towards what has the most spend. So that is my advice for this video. I know this was a, a quick little rant. I'm in the middle of my work day and I just went through a big audit for an account. Um, and this is the biggest thing I saw. So this is my advice to you. If you have any questions, please let me know.